Fuller's and Cassandra Fuller welcoming you to Six in the City in a jam-packed program. We have a We've packed got show. Guests and dogs. And we do everything else well, here today. Sweet dogs. So who all who all is here? Well, Tamara Keys is here with okay. her special guest Murphy because there's a, um, a foundation that she wants to talk about okay. called I Am Joy. Okay. And then we'll also have Michelle James with the Downtown Dogs Group because okay. they're coming up with the Downtown Dog Trot, and I'm a, assuming that uh, Murphy will make his presence known at the Downtown <laughs> Dog, dog Trot. trot. Okay. I think he's going to be signing pautographs. We, oh, oh, is that right? That's okay. right. I think we're, that's what I read. We're also going to talk to Regina Smith and Melissa Walls about the uh, West Tennessee Healthcare Women's Conference. That's that, right. that is coming up, and uh, and Elaine Christian and Amy Dietrich are with us because they have a special event. Going to talk about the seven wonders of the world. That's right. At the library. At the library. Well, uh, it's for the library. We're going to do it at St. Mary's. That's right. St. Mary's. We're going to do it at St. Mary's, and so they're here to give us a preview of all that. Plus, Jenny Gibson is here because she's going to talk about the U of M Planetarium mm -hmm. and some events going on at U of M. Because yep. uh, the way I understood it, she is and very when we're going to get a football team. <laughs> She said, she said, you might not know the an <laughs> want to know the answer to that one, Steve. <laughs> something about something freezing over first. Or something. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get into all that. Nadia, Nadia Beard, Beard is with us in the Laquan Dance Studio. We'll find out about that. And our performers today. We have the Southern Buyer Band. Okay. It's their first appearance on Six in the City as a band together. We'll also preview some other events coming up. Relay for Life is coming up this, this week. Friday. We have a lot of things going on. Taste of Jackson is next week for the March of Dimes. So a lot of things to talk about. We'll do all of that on this Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. Franny Smith, host of E Plus TV 6 Cooking Show at Home on the Rain. Our show features some of Jackson's best cooks, regular folks just like you and me that enjoy home entertaining and sharing their culinary skills. Join us each week as our guests share favorite family recipes, tips for entertaining, and delicious fare from the natural gas kitchens at Kaufman's Home Furnishings and Appliances. Have fun with local folks who are going to help you feel more at Home on the Range. Drawing from a tremendous underground aquifer, J.A.'s water supply is sand filtered by nature. This water supply is not only plentiful, it requires minimal treatment. Continually lab tested for quality, it's the water distributed through the water division at J.A. More than once named by the Tennessee Association of Utility Districts as West Tennessee's best tasting water. Clean water, another part of J.A. today. First Baptist Church is about making disciples, building community, serving others, equipping families, and above all, glorifying God. We'd love to have you join us. First Baptist Church, for God, His gospel, and His glory. Six in the city. We have two special guests we with do. us. One just commanding a lot of attention because. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that face. Look How at that face. Not? I have not. I, I would not. I could not. <laughs> yeah. Murphy. Oh, this is Murphy. This is Murphy. Oh, this is Murphy. And, this is Murphy. And, and, and he's brought along Tamara Keys That's with right. us today. And so it, they're, they're here to talk about the I Am Joy Foundation, which we have the Murphy's Heart book, the book named after. That's right. Named after this it's Named man. after Murphy. Okay, named after Murphy. Because see, he has a heart shape on his ear. Okay, see? right there. I can yeah. see it on the book. I know. Okay, right there. All right, tell us the story of this book. Or what, well, what when I got Murphy a couple of years ago and noticed that he had a heart on his ear, I wanted to have a children's book written. I'm uh -huh. a retired special ed preschool teacher. Okay. And it was important because Murphy is different being a white boxer. You don't see a lot of white boxers. And then... He had the added feature of the black, the black marking, heart. which is a okay. heart shape okay. on his ear. And so I told my aunt about this idea, and she said, well, I'll write the book for you. Okay. And so in the meantime, uh, my friend Karen Rogers was developing the I Am Joy Foundation because um, with the book, we wanted all the proceeds to go to animal rescue. Okay. So through I Am Joy Foundation, we are able to donate our proceeds, okay. and uh, up to this date, we've donated ten thousand five hundred dollars. Wow! Oh, wow! This is going well. From the sale of the book. From the sale so of the book. So how do people book. get this book then? Well, we have a website, uh, www.iamjoyfoundation.org. Okay. And um, next Thursday, we're going to partner with Downtown Dogs and sell the books at their event down here. Okay. 
and all the proceeds that night will go to that organization. That organization as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, very good. And the, the author of the book is actually um, my aunt, and she has some Jackson roots. Okay. She is Joy Duke, and she was uh, Joy Allhausen, okay. and she went to Lambeth, Lambeth. Okay. years okay. ago. Okay, mm -hmm. right here. we've got Lambeth coming out of the University of Memphis, Lambeth, coming up later in the program. That's right. This book is written for, for what age? It's a children's book. Um, anywhere from three or four to, I'd okay. say, 10 or okay. 12 enjoy the book. And okay. the added feature that we like is you can go on our website and hear my aunt read the book. Oh, okay. okay. Right, so, so I think that's a really so nice you, feature. The book there. Uh -huh. Mur Murphy's got and our illustrator is a Tennessean as well. He's in Knoxville, okay. Mike okay. Taylor. Okay. And 100% of the proceeds go from the sale of the book go to help these organizations. That's right. Different organizations. That's right. And more, most likely they're smaller organizations that don't get the grants, that don't get the help. That's from, right. And there's so many out there, there that well, there are, are that, and that's they need right. so much okay. help. So you've heard Murphy how long? A couple of years? Yeah, he's two. Okay. He was and how two. How did you come December. across Murphy? Well, I, he's actually from Ohio, and um, I've had several boxers, but I've always had the fawn or the brindle, brindle. Mm -hmm. boxer. Okay. And he was um, left. He did not have a home, and as Is soon as I okay. saw him online, I, I wanted to have him. And a lot of times, the white boxers are deaf, okay. and um, for that reason, sometimes they're not picked okay. as quickly. Murphy, fortunately, is not deaf. If he were to have puppies, they might, might be. have yeah. a you know, high okay. chance of being deaf. Okay. But he's been taken care of. There will not be any puppies from we'll, Murphy. Murphy. <laughs> we're going to try to get a shot of Murphy Yeah, here. we want but, people to see Murphy. Yeah, they need to heart. see the heart yeah. on his ear. Yeah. And, uh, he's being of course, so that's good. where the name of the book came from because I thought, uh, you know, that was just something special. So okay. our message to kids is always that um, it's okay to be different. Um, you all have something special and unique about you, okay. mm -hmm. just like Murphy just like does. Murphy does. So a lot uh -huh. of the a lot of the book was or the book was written based off of Murphy's life. That's life right. events. Although he's two, he may not have a lot of life yeah. events, but his everything in the book is about Murphy, about Murphy. Our true okay. stories about Murphy. Do you contemplate doing more of these? I mean, this seems to have been very successful. Well, um, we've done several school events, okay. and the kids always ask my aunt, the author. Has she started the second, the second book yet? <laughs> okay, right. And she says, uh, talk to me in six months. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, we would love to have okay, more right. um, of Murphy's okay. adventures. He doesn't I, look very yeah, adventuresome yeah. right well, now. Yeah, well, he's doing well. <laughs> I am joyfoundation.org. That's right. I am joyfoundation.org. You can get audio of the book or the book itself. You can find out then, more. You can yeah. contribute. You can yeah, yeah. help them out. And we're going to be ready to go. We'll talk to the uh, downtown dogs group coming up next about the, that event. But it's good, good to see you. Good, good to have, have you. Murphy nice with to meet us. you guys he's well. Murphy. He's Thank you. Yeah, we appreciate the great chance to be here. Over $10,000 already raised That's from right. these books and more to come. And you can get your picture made with Murphy at the downtown dog trial. And he will photograph your book. See, okay, you very get good. a photograph. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there was good to see you. It's Thank good you. Appreciate Daddy it. Wish your aunt the best as well. We're going to be back with more. We'll continue this conversation in a way as we continue this Six in the City. Hold it. I think you're going to like this picture. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Beverly. For the past five years, we've been bringing you classic TV favorites on TV6. Now we're on every Saturday night. Three great hours of situation comedy. Surprises of your favorite stars from the golden age of TV. And every once in a while, you can say the secret word with Groucho. Steve Beverly's TV classics every Saturday night from 7 to 10 on E Plus TV6. It's 13 miles of natural gas main reaching from Crockett County into Jackson, Tennessee. It's a $16 million project. When completed, this line will provide Jackson a second main line access to natural gas supply. It will enhance JA's existing service and provide expanded capacity for future industrial, commercial, and residential growth. Investing in Jackson's future at JEA today. This commercial isn't going to shock you or make you laugh, but it just might save your life. Every one of these people is alive today because someone else took the time to give blood. Hopefully, the person that gives blood for you is watching this too. Do you have time? Please, give blood.
Welcome back to Six of the City. We'll be talking to Michelle James about the Downtown Dogs Group event coming up in a moment. Right now, Regina Smith and Melissa Wallace have joined us. West Tennessee Healthcare. The Women's Conference is coming up Tuesday, May 24th. So we're going to find out about this. Good to have you both with us. Thank you. Thank I'm glad you. to be here. It's going to be where and what time on the 24th? It's going to be at, uh, Tuesday the 24th at a Union University's Grant Center. Grant Center okay. uh, we're going to begin registration about 8.15 with the conference beginning at 9 and concluding by 3. And okay. the conference is how much? $20, $20 per person. Per person. Do we need to pre-register You do. Early? You need to okay. pre-register okay. and, and pay in advance by calling 541 okay. 8757. 8757. That's the Senior Services Office. And they have okay. till Monday to do that, is that right? This, till this coming, this coming Monday. Monday. Okay. okay, to get that done. 541 8757, $20. That includes your lunch. And it includes and your lunch, a fashion Definitely show. You do this because a fashion show and then your guest speaker that you have. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, and we get to have Lisa Smart back again with us this year. Okay. She did our first annual blossoming into a better you last year and then we brought her back again because she was so popular she's hilarious she okay. is great mm -hmm. she did one of uh, jea's events and she's just oh, she's right? hilarious she's i didn't just, get invited mm -hmm. to that one well <laughs> it was because it was for ladies oh. only Steve. yes and this is tuesday we're sorry <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe specific... we'll have an event and have lisa just for you <laughs> <laughs> is there a specific target one -on -one you're trying to reach? <laughs> yeah. we are targeting event... those ladies in our community who are over 50 years old okay if you're 50 or over, you need to go ahead Are you going to admit that right here on the air? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I, I, I want to go to this. I will say we are not going to card at the door. Card. So you can come and in. And you'll take my $20. We will right? take your $20 to come right ahead. All right. So, so what is distinctive about women this age? What are you trying to do or say or feature? I think it, with all of our speakers, we're kind of targeting this age range, the okay. women over 50, to say that um, the things that we need to do to get prepared for our health, to get prepared, we're bringing in um, Nancy Shote to talk about how to get things prepared um, legally and well, financially. Legal, yeah. And Dr. Lolly Eldridge is going to talk about women's problems that happen. Um, she's an OBGYN okay. for the Jackson Clinic, and she's going to talk about women's issues over the age of 50 and what mm -hmm. things that you need to look at and be thinking about as far as your health goes. Um, who gets Grandma's Gardening Gloves by Dr. Amy Eliza? That's going to be interesting, okay. you know. Yeah, so apparently putting little names with um, scotch tape on the bottom of things is not what we should do. Um, <laughs> Sharpie doesn't laugh. That long, right? Uh, yes. So, <laughs> what what should you do if you know the grandmother is wanting to leave something special to you? You know, what are the things that you should okay. do? That's her topic, and um, we have Without Leanne. Getting into fights with the rest of the family, right? right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Keep the feuds down. down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Amy's going to keep the peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Leanne mm -hmm. Childress is going to talk with us about um, exercise and the things. It's never too late to start, and so that's her topic. And then, um, how to fertilize your future crops is Nancy Shote. And keeping your garden fit by Paige Allen and Hillary Keen. Mm -hmm. So from lift from wellness left center. So, so it's a lot of different things. Then. It is. Okay. It'll right. be a whole okay. day. Of so last fun. year was the first time this was attempted. Mm -hmm. Did, it, it went well. It was our first year. It went very well. Okay. Mm -hmm. We just had a great time together. Um, another thing we like to mention is the fashion show by Amas. Okay. Uh, okay. We're so glad that they've joined us again this year and partnering with that uh, that effort. So it's just a really fun day for the girls to get out. Okay. Uh, we've encouraged those maybe church groups or ladies uh, bridge. Clubs clubs Bridge and things clubs. like that to reserve book a table clubs. book clubs mm -hmm. yes we would love to have your groups okay so we can register by calling 541-8757 it's twenty dollars a person which is priceless compared priceless. to the information that you get and yes. you get lunch yes. as well correct? lunch and yeah. lots of information okay. we'll have uh vendors from our different departments at west Tennessee health care that deal with women's issues and then we're sponsored by not only the senior services department but the women's center the okay. the lift lift disease management and sports plus okay. oh wow all right lots and lots of information what did you adjust after the program last year then i mean you, you key on certain things that work and you, or people talk to you about trying to add certain topics? Right. We went with different topics because we want the same group to want to come back right. and we didn't want to talk about the same thing. Right. So we went with different, different topics. We didn't talk about anything financial last year. We had a dietitian speak last year. This year, you know, we're going um, more of an exercise base. Okay. Um, I was so trying to think of some of the other changes. I, I the food is staying the same. The food was marvelous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we speaker. kept the same menu. <laughs> oh, right. Well, that is, that is that Tuesday, May 24th. Registration deadline is Monday. This Monday. coming Monday. Monday. This coming yes, Monday. Sir. All right, so be sure to take care of that. 20 bucks, 541-8757. It will be at the Carl Grant Event Center. And uh, continued success on this. Thank very you. Good. Glad, glad that has, that has worked out. Well, good to see you both. We appreciate it very much. Regina Smith and Melissa Walls. We'll be seeing Regina about the... 
walked into Alzheimer's. That's right. Coming up in September, so we'll be talking about that as well. Good to see you both. Good to Thank you. you. Thank We're you going to the main stage, and, and, and we welcome, as we have been corrected. That's right. This we is were Southern corrected. Fire. Southern Fire, not mm -hmm. Fire. <laughs> Get ready when you get the blues. Come on, get ready when you get the blues. Get a rock and roll feeling in your bones, put taps on your toes and get gone. Get ready when you get the blues. Well, a shoe shine boy never gets low down. He's got the dirtiest job in town. Bending low at the people's feet on a windy corner of a dirty street. Well, I asked him while he shined my shoes, how do you keep from getting the blues? Well, he grinned as he raised his little head, popped shoe shine rag, and then he said, Get a rhythm when you get the blues. Come on, get a rhythm when you get the blues. Yeah, a jumpy rhythm makes you feel so fine It'll shake all the trouble from your worried mind Get a rhythm When you get the blues Take your thing Take all the trouble from your worried mind. Get a rhythm when you get the blues. Well, I sit down to listen to the shoe shine boy, and I thought I was gonna jump for joy. Slapped on the shoe polish left and right. He grabbed the shoe shine rag and he held it tight. He stopped once to wipe the sweat away. I said, You might a little boy to be working that way. He said, I like it with a big wide grin. Kept on a popping and a set again. Get a rhythm. When you get the blues, come on, get a rhythm. When you get the blues, it only costs a dime, just a nickel a shoe. It does a million dollars worth of good for you. Get a rhythm. When you get the It changes the way you watch TV forever. DVR service lets you instantly record a single show or an entire season and even pause live TV with a push of a button. And now, E Plus Broadband can set you up with multi room DVR so you can play, pause, control your TV choices from any room in your home. Start a show in one room, finish in another. It will change your life. Learn more about multi room DVR. Call or visit eplusbroadband.com today. Jackson Police, what do they do? And why do they do what they do? E Plus TV 6 Roll Call, an update on the people and the work of the Jackson Police Department. A new show every two weeks. What they do and what we can do to make a difference in Jackson. Roll Call now includes you exclusively on E Plus TV 6. The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included with your E Plus broadband cable TV for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Visit eplusbroadband.com to learn more.
Welcome back to Six in the City. We're going to have more from uh, Southern Fire and delighted to have them with us. That's right. right now, we're talking to Michelle James, and she is, well, many, many other things. Michelle is a proprietor downtown, the Downtown Tavern now, live music and all this other stuff. And so, is that going well? It is going well. Okay. It's pretty we're exciting what's happening. Lots of downtown, fun, lots of fun. Down at the Amp just recently, and just this whole new energy. The it is. Market, it's, all this we're is so great. excited to be a part of that. And one of the reasons we got into it was to, kind of to combine our efforts with the dogs okay. um, and do something a little bit different uh, and fun yeah. with, with a business that's. Yeah. Located. Wanting to give back to the community yeah, in downtown where we started. So. We should continue to success. We have a lot Thank of exciting you. things happening in, in downtown Jackson. We're going to talk about the Downtown Dogs Group, and it's their annual 5K and one mile fun walk. And this is the fourth year. This is the fourth realize. year. We were the first uh, group to have a 5K at the lift. Okay. I couldn't have done it without Dale Childress. He got down there and spent months literally mapping out a route, a brand new route. Okay. Um, and runners love it. And it's it's just, lift has been wonderful to us. It's been a great right. place so to we'll start race. at the lift and we'll go through kind of Lana. Mm -hmm. Goes all around through Lana behind Lambeth, um, University of Memphis at Lambeth, and winds back up on the back side of Jackson Walk and comes down through there. It's just okay. a beautiful it's course. See yes. all the, the new stuff that's mm -hmm. going on. Exactly. Right, so this will be Thursday the 19th, yes. uh, and it will start at what time? It's an evening race, so the race starts at 6, registration starts at 4.30. Okay. 4.30, yes. Okay. You can go to downtowndogsgroup.org and register in advance. Register How much in is the registration? Advance. Uh, it's $20 to run, okay. $15 to walk. Okay. Kids 14 and under for both are $10, okay. and then teams of five can run for $10. All right. $10. And you can, you can also register day of the event. You can. There's plenty of time if you can get down there. A lot of runners like to wait and see what the weather's going to be like, and they'll come in and register at 4.30, but okay. we've had the best registration ahead of time that we've ever had. Okay, so. we'll and a good. couple of new things this year. Yes, we just yes. spoke with uh, Tamara Keys yes. and Murphy, and they're actually going to be there along with Karen Rogers, mm -hmm. who That's created the I Enjoy Foundation. Yeah. So folks will get to meet Murphy and mm -hmm. get their picture made. And, and that's such autograph. a special thing for special, you know, we focus on special needs dogs. Yeah. But for Murphy to be what's considered special needs in the rescue world and also for the book to be for special children, I just think that's like the okay. coolest win -win com it collaboration. Is a win -win. And something mm -hmm. else new this year is the pub trot. We're doing the pub trot. Uh, we talked to the folks at the downtown tavern and thought it might be fun to do it. keep people downtown after the race. A lot right. of times people will hang out after right. the dog walk right. uh, and, you know, we're going to different places anyway, so we said, let's do this. So we've got the 5K run, uh, and then we're calling this the 5K Pub Trot. Okay. Uh, and it's Grubbs Grocery, Rock okay. and Dough, Rock and Dough. Okay. Uh, West Alley Barbecue, Miss okay. Ollie's, and winding up at the okay. Tavern. All right, very so good. we'll start at, at, at Grubbs and then kind of work our way all the way around. Yeah, Grubbs is doing a lot of cool stuff for us during the race with some smoothies and stuff that they okay. have out there. So it kind of will just fall in right there and make the rounds. Make around. Oh, okay. wow. Is there an extra fee for that? Is there it? is not. Right. Okay, um, so and it's some of the bars are, are doing things for us, like 10% of sales during their 30-minute right. period and that kind of thing. Okay. Um, of course, dog-friendly outside at, right. at the bars. Most of them have patios right. and places for dogs right. to hang out. Oh, so Jackson's going on that night, too, so it'll be a busy yeah. night. It is going to be a busy night. Lots so of there's fun. a lot of people downtown. Lots of fun. Next Thursday, that'll be great fun. All right, so you, you can you can run right. and then walk. You can run. You can walk. <laughs> I can run. You can walk. <laughs> yeah. You can stand around like I do. Yeah. <laughs> I and cheer everybody so on. Exactly. Right. I'll meet you at the downtown tavern. I'll wait on okay. you. <laughs> I bet. I bet so. <laughs> I'll be there holding your chair. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want people to know about Downtown Dogs Group, Michelle? Um, just mainly that our focus is the ones that often get left behind. We okay. just helped a little dog named Lucy uh, that when she was taken to the vet, the vet immediately said this dog needs to be put to sleep. And I said, okay, what is option two? She had been hit by a car. Couldn't close her jaw to eat. Uh, we ended up having surgery at Mississippi State University, of all things, because okay. they specialize in jaws, Is and on? she's going to be just fine. Oh, um, wow. So that's that's what we do are the ones that um, are going to cost more, maybe. They're going to be a little okay. bit harder to adopt out because they're different, uh, different breed okay. that other you know people may not want, pit bulls and things like that, okay. older dogs. Um, we specialize on the ones that are, are not so easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we do hospice and, and that okay. kind of work. So. How did you find out about Mississippi State? Is it just a um, chain of Dr. Creech, who is one of the great veterinarians in Jackson who has a clinic out south, okay. um, referred us there because they are one of the only, um, they were veterinary school, obviously, but right. so they do um, surgeries as well, and they're one of the only ones in the area with a special kind of CT that could get an entire wow. Oh, wow. 3D picture of the skull okay. and tell us what was going on with that jaw. But so Lucy is, is Lucy's going to well. be great. She can chew and oh, eat. Wow. 
How do you find them people to, to, to adopt these? Well, adults? luckily with Lucy, her foster mom is becoming what we call a foster failure, which okay. is that she's going <laughs> to, she thinks that Lucy showed up under her porch with this injury for a reason okay. and has fallen in love. Okay. But um, that's what we need more than anything are fosters. Oh. That's the hardest okay. thing to find. If okay. folks want to foster, how do they get in touch uh, with downtowndogsgroup.org. There's okay. a form to contact us. Okay. And you guys are on Facebook? We are on Facebook. Okay. So can find Facebook okay. with okay. then just downtown dogs. All right. Oh. Well, it's a big night coming up uh, next Thursday night, the 19th, and so just check that out, downtowndogsgroup.org. Right. Michelle, it's always good to, oh, it's good to see good to see you. It is good to have you. Thank, Thank you so much you. for what you do, Thank Michelle. You. I'll be Appreciate waiting on you. Don't be late. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stay all night. <laughs> sure you can. We're open to three. Michelle, Michelle said you can. You can. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back to the main stage and welcome once again Southern Fire. When the sun beats down, beats a tall So hot, wish your tired feet were by a blue. Under the boardwalk, down by the sea. On a blanket with my baby, that's where I'll be. Under the boardwalk. This commercial isn't going to shock you or make you laugh, but it just might save your life. Every one of these people is alive today because someone else took the time to give blood. Hopefully, the person that gives blood for you is watching this too. Do you have time? Please, give blood. You fill up my senses Like a sleepy blue ocean You fill up my senses Come fill me again In 1986, my life changed forever when I struck three buried high-voltage cables while working on an excavation site. 
30,000 volts of electricity blew through my body. I'm lucky to be alive and able to walk again. Today, accidents like mine can be avoided with a simple call to 811 in order to have your dig site marked. Always call 811 before digging and be a hero. Respect the flags. Brought to you by Tennessee 811. to Six of the City. We'll have more from Southern Fire coming up later in this program. We'll also talk to Nadia Beard about a special dance studio presentation coming up. But right now, we're going to talk about the seven wonders of the world. Elaine Christian has traveled all over the world, and she has found a way, instead of inviting us over the house and boring us with all of her photos and everything else, we've turned a way to make money out of this. Absolutely. <laughs> and, 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 Why would we not? <laughs> and so... For so the she, library. So she's inviting a bunch of her friends, and it's, it's a great present. You've done this then twice already. I have, actually. The first time I did it was for our book club here in Jackson, and then I've done it for two different okay. groups uh, out of town. But Amy and I were brainstorming about having it here, and we yeah. thought, oh, my goodness, can yeah. we do something and make some money for the library? Mm -hmm. Because we're always interested in, in trying well, see, to help the The great thing library. about Lane is when I invite people over to see my vacation photos, it's like, mm -hmm. we've been to Pinson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Figured we've seen you, I figured school, you'd say we've Alabama. Seen the, we've seen the school and the mounds and all that other stuff. Right? So the seven wonders of the world now are what? Well, if you start in the east, it's the Great Wall of China. Okay. It's the Taj Mahal right. in India. Okay. It's Petra in Jordan. Okay. Um, it's the Colosseum in Rome oh, okay. in Italy. Um, the Statue of Christ in Rio de Janeiro yeah. Harbor. Okay. okay. Machu Picchu in Peru, okay. and then Chichen Itza, which is a Mayan pyramid in the Yucatan of Mexico. Okay. And then the pyramids are the only still existing ancient wonder of the, ancient the world. Wonders. Okay. So all right. well, I, I we've had a chance to visit all. All of oh, us. Wow. Yes. You know, she goes to Pinson sometimes. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Pinson right, well, mounds, but, Machu Picchu. Right, so, so yeah. how long a presentation is this? Yeah, you know, it's about forty minutes uh, with a few minutes for questions, and I actually start set the set the stage with a little bit of history uh, about the ancient wonders of the world okay. and why they were talked about, and then. Um, you know, the significance of seven and okay. then yeah, so, transition yeah, so, so, into, into the these modern, modern ones, wonders okay. of the world. And, and so that's subject to change then as we go through it our It is history. actually, okay. yes, okay. it's subject to change. But right. that this is the consensus right, right now. now. And okay. then there's a group of finalists that are out there that... Uh, is that right? Yes, so somebody so very interesting. Yes. That could be another wonder of the world. That could be, yeah. Who decides? You know, there is this organization. You're it's kidding. part of okay. UNESCO. It's okay. part of the United Nations. All right, so it's, this is official stuff. It is. It's official stuff. Yeah. And, um, I just can't build a statue and get on the list. No, you cannot get on the list, Steve. <laughs> Daryl and I actually started out visiting these World Heritage Sites, which okay. are uh, part of this UNESCO, United Nations Educational Scientific Organization, and they designated these sites as endangered or special or historic. And so we started out visiting uh, those sites, and then we realized we I've been to several of the wonders wow. of the world, well, okay. so we went and finished it up a few years ago. So, are you you do the photographs and stuff? And yes, and yes, they're my photographs, and there's okay. a real evolution in hair and hats <laughs> and clothing. <laughs> and, uh, right. So, yeah, it's a bucket list of photos, but then okay. there's there's some that are a little crazy. This is coming up from 5:30 until 7. It's going to be next Tuesday, the 17th. It's going to be at St. Mary's in the family hall Holy there. Family hall. And and then so and we've got dinner. We don't have dinner. Do we have? We have but food. We samples. have hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. It's Jackson. You can't have an event <laughs> without, <laughs> food. without food. He should know that. Well, that's true. The fortunate yeah. part is you can come and you don't have to bring a dish. Okay. Because we will have. <laughs> You'll have it all for Because we have seven wonders. Okay. We have food from all, all of the seven different of those places. Areas. Okay. Fortunately, okay. my board is full of people who have traveled and are good cooks, and okay. some of them have lived abroad. Okay. So we'll have little noshes from each of the countries. Oh. And we'll have some wine. Okay. And the foundation's purpose is to raise money for the library, to wow. purchase things that the library's budget cannot handle. Okay. And mm -hmm. so that's what we do. We just purchased 16 iPads for the children's part of the oh, library, okay. Right. Okay. four for the North Branch, and the other 12 for the okay. downtown yeah. library. Okay. And <coughs> Dinah Harris, our wonderful director, has a huge wish list, okay. so <laughs> we, we're not stopping. We yes. are in the money, and well, did so that, we need to that raise that new reader of money. for the Tennessee Room and all the stuff? Yes, we, we did. did. We, yes. okay. we contributed to, we 
contributed okay. half the money for that wonderful, which everybody what who are, uses yeah. that oh, copier the, yeah. just well, talks just, about how amazing it is. It's the microfilm. Yes. And, 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 so well, that's our purpose. That's wow. what we do. All right, so how do we get tickets and how much are they? Well, they're $30. They're okay. available at either of the library locations, okay. um, the north or the downtown, or you can call 425-8600. Okay. And, and we do need to do that in advance. It would really we? help us with, you know, okay. estimating yeah, how much right. food. There will be okay. tickets available at the door. Okay. And it goes for a good cost, and right. it'll, be a, it'll be interesting. Okay. Get, so you can get your bucket list ready right. of right. where so we you can might actually, want to go next. We can actually go and travel and see all the wonders of the world without yeah. even leaving home. Yeah. Right, absolutely. absolutely. Save the rest of us some money, 30 bucks. <laughs> Pam says, you know, Elaine's been around the world. I said, well, I carried you. That's right. That's right. I, I, we you did, had the we same did all trip. the same areas. We had great food. That's and, right. You know, and everything. Sure, yeah. Sure, yeah. absolutely. Elaine, I appreciate you doing that. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. <laughs> My husband will be proud of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Daryl, we appreciate it. You're going, you're going to save the rest of the city a bunch of money. Of yeah. the it's seven. great to see you both. Yeah. Thank well, you. you can good just you. donate that money that you saved to the library. Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah. Seeing still make a donation. I knew I was going to get fleeced with I know these women too well. You know what I mean? <laughs> Amy's going to get your money no, mo no matter what. You're going to pry that wallet open. It's good to see you both. <laughs> Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate what you're doing for the library as, as well. We're going to be right back with more as we continue Six in the City. Okay, Josh, do your stuff. Okay, people, you know the drill. Can't do the only guys. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Drawing from a tremendous underground aquifer, J.A.'s water supply is sand filtered by nature. This water supply is not only plentiful, it requires minimal treatment. Continually lab tested for quality, it's the water distributed through the water division at J.A. More than once named by the Tennessee Association of Utility Districts as West Tennessee's best tasting water. Clean water, another part of JEA today. Ready, set, go for it. Adventure. This is your GAC. Elaine was selling some things uh, off camera during the break about That's the right. seven I, I designation. I asked the significance of, of the seven, and, and it's just it's just biblical so seven days of creation, seven it, continents. We so use much seven, thought went behind. I never yep. knew so much thought went behind. I know. You know, I didn't know there was seven, an official. You know, like I said, I was, was going to build a statue on the list. <laughs> <laughs> they do not want a bronze statue of Steve <laughs> well, Bowers as the, a wonder of the world. Well, the seven wonders of Madison County. We'll, <laughs> we'll start. We'll, we'll start see what we see what we can do. Okay, yeah, we'll start. You have a bronze statue on campus. campus. There, you, there you go. Make Just a big what enough you need. Make oh, a big enough contribution, Lord. and Jenny will get you placed right there. Just what that right. campus needs. Jenny oh. Gibson is with us. She's with the University of Memphis, Lambeth Campus, and we, she said we could talk about anything going on. And we said, well, how about getting a new provost out there? And she said, we're not talking about that. <laughs> we're pretty happy with. I what think we I think Niles has settled in pretty he well has. here. He you know, has. for a foreigner to come in here and just settle That's in, right. he, he's, he's done a great job. A Georgia boy is not too much. Well, it's, foreign, it's not too foreign. No, it's not too foreign. But he's done a great job here, and it's just been a delight to see. And the campus has continued to grow. Campus is continuing to grow. Well, we had over 950 students, students you know, wow. in the so we'll, fall, and we'll we're, break a thousand we're looking for a thousand. Yeah, we sure will. So fall. it's a really exciting to see. One of these days, we'll look around, be 2,500 people it. or so there. It'll be so many and people buzzing around that campus. Campus, you won't, won't be able to recognize that. That's things. right. We have a couple of events coming up. One of those is coming up the 17th, this next Tuesday. It's from 6 until 8, and it's at the MD Anderson Planetarium. And sometimes we run into people in this city that do not realize that we have a planetarium. It's a gem of it this city. It is a gem. Yeah. That is what so I keep saying. I, because I, when I took this position in September, I started researching mm -hmm. just to see, you know, what, what other planetariums are there All in right. the state of Tennessee or what. Mm -hmm. And I found a few. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can go to Memphis and go to the right. Pink Palace. Pink Palace one. You can go to Nashville, mm -hmm. go to the Adventure Science Center, now Union City. Yeah. Um, East Tennessee State has one. Has one, okay. But nobody 
has a free one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Even East Tennessee State charges admission. Charge, charge admission. And so as, as long as we can keep it free, okay. we feel like it's a gift to the community. community. Well, MD Anderson Planet here right there at the campus of Lambeth. So what's happening next Tuesday then? Well, next Tuesday, I try to have at least one public show a month. Okay. Um, some I didn't realize months, that. Okay. Some months I do more than that, but this spring has been so heavy on So we find out about those trips. where? Is this a site uh, or Facebook? You can or? either go to memphis.edu backslash Lambeth. Memphis .edu slash Lambeth. Okay. And then there's a, a section on there for the... For the planetarium, planetarium. Okay. Um, but I keep a Facebook page okay. for the planetarium. So if you okay. will go to Facebook and do a search for MD Anderson Planetarium, planetarium. Okay. you'll see pictures on there. We just had a school group yesterday. Okay, we so have... you do a free show every month. Mm -hmm. Every month. Okay. Right. Every so, month. So this one next Tuesday the seventeenth starts at six. Starts at six. And it is what? It is the show we're doing next Tuesday is called A Chronicle of a Journey to Earth, okay. and it's one I do frequently because it follows a lot of the Tennessee standards. And I do okay. have a group of scouts coming next okay. Tuesday. Okay. Now, we seat 74, so okay. everybody's welcome. There'll be plenty of room for you, even though okay. we have okay. a group of scouts coming. Okay. But we had 100 and something yesterday from the Montessori School. Wow. We have Pope Elementary coming tomorrow. So this gets a lot of usage. Then. We have. I started keeping a tally when I took this job at the end of September, and we have had almost 1,700 wow. people come through. Wow. Okay. Just since the end of September. Just since September 24th. Wow. Okay. Well, that is absolutely that is, terrific. It, it's a huge. I, you know, so it's free. It's free. I can as long remember, as we can keep it free, yeah, we're going to keep it free. Keep, okay. I can mm -hmm. remember being in, in school and going on field trips and coming to the planetarium. I just thought right. it was the coolest thing ever. Okay. Well, then, they come in. That's one of my favorite parts. That's about 20% of my job up there. But it's, okay. yeah, I love doing those planetarium shows okay. because they come in and they ooh and ah. Oh, right. And so many of them have never been on a college campus. Mm -hmm. okay. They've never been to a planetarium. Okay. So it's first time experience. Mm -hmm. We had about 170 middle schoolers come from oh, New Bern a few okay. months ago and okay. only three had ever been on the college campus. Wow. wow. Out of okay. 170. Mm -hmm. All right. They well, probably had no clue what a planetarium no was. No clue what a planetarium okay. was and, right, the, and we had a big time. Before you get away, we got about a minute. Uh, we're, we've got another event coming. It's called Carry the Load. It's the University of Memphis coming up Sunday, the 22nd, 1245. It actually starts in front of City Hall downtown. It does. So what um, is this? Well, this is a national event. It's been going on for about eight or nine years. A group of um, former military and right. first responders Veterans started this. Right. Okay. They leave New York City the 1st of May, and they walk to Dallas, Texas. It takes them the month of May. They, okay. oh, wow. they so walk and bike. The they, they don't technically come through Jackson. They don't follow the interstate. They follow the highway system. Okay. They come through near Henderson, but Dr. Reddick had been familiar with them in Georgia, and so last year they reached out and wanted to come to our campus. Okay. So it, it's a way to bring back the true meaning of Memorial Day and okay. to honor first responders so you, and military. So you walk from 1245 in front of the city they hall to the campus? To, they come from okay. Henderson uh, okay. along there. They make a little side trip. Okay. Um, right. We'll meet in front of City Hall at 1245, okay. and about right. 1 o'clock we start a walk up to campus, to campus. Right. and have treats. Right. We'll continue to mention this. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank we you appreciate so much, Jenny. We're going to go back to the main stage, as we call it, and we welcome once again Southern Fire. Who was the once a bull-looking son of a gun? Who keeps a pipe? Hit out behind shoot number one. Who was riding high till a pretty girl rode him to the ground? Any kid knows where to find me. I'm Bandy the Rodeo Clown. And riding. Silver side line never won. Since you left me, the whiskey takes me to the rodeo ground. Where the cowboys think I'm handy, I'm bandy the rodeo clown. I could ride. All the bulls and the Bronx knew I was born, but the. 
right, that woman took me on to a whole lot more than this old cowboy's bones. Well, the tears on my makeup melt my pain aside to a crime. Any kid knows where to find me, I'm Bandy the Road. great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included with your E-Plus broadband cable TV for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Visit eplusbroadband.com to learn more. Utility infrastructure often coordinates with streets and highways. Much of the work performed by utility crews is done in proximity to traffic. Tennessee has added utility crews to the mandated clearance for emergency and law enforcement personnel. When lights are flashing, crews are working, traffic should move over an additional lane. If a lane gap is not available, traffic should slow. The Jackson Energy Authority thanks the drivers of Jackson for your cooperation in Move Over Tennessee, promoting the work and safety of JEA personnel. This is Sergeant Chris Richardson of the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Over my career, I've been asked, what's the most difficult part about being a state trooper? That's easy. The hardest part about being a state trooper is going to someone's house and telling the people there that someone they love is never, ever coming home because of a senseless, preventable traffic crash. In Tennessee, every year, way too many lives are lost by drinking and driving, texting and driving, and not wearing your seatbelt. Please don't let me tell your loved ones that you're not coming home. Welcome back to Six in the City. We'll have more from Southern Fire Band coming up in just a few minutes. Nadia Beard is with us. We're just comparing notes. She's originally from Ripley. Ripley, Tennessee. Made Jackson, right? Tennessee. And right. we're glad to have her here. The Laquan Dance Studio has a special event coming up Sunday. This coming Sunday, the 15th from 3 until 5. We'll talk about that. Tell us about the studio. It's okay. where and, and what, what do you do there? Okay. My studio is located at the Westwood Recreation Center. Okay. I teach all dance forms. So let's start with the youngest. I teach uh, pip-pop, which is another form of hip-hop. Pip-pop. Okay. Pip-pop. Okay. And then so I have... Ones, little, little bitty ones. Okay. And then I have Tiny Tots. Tiny Tots is a combo class, which is based around ballet, creative movement, and jazz. Oh, wow. And then I teach uh, boys hip-hop. I teach musical theater. Okay. I teach stretch and tone. I teach ballet. Wow. Okay. I teach so jazz. A wide jazz of, of dance. So how do people find out about the studio, get involved with it, if they got youngsters they wanted to enroll? Yes. Uh, my phone number is 731-234-1870. And okay. you can go on my Facebook page, which is Laquan Dance Studio. Okay. And it's L-A-Q-U-A-N. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And also, you can reach me through Gmail, okay. uh, LaquanDanceStudio at gmail.com. Oh, gmail. right, right. How long have you been doing this? Amy? I've been teaching for 20 plus years. years. Oh, Is wow. That right? okay. 20 plus years. But so, how'd you get started? You know what? I've been teaching around, all around the, the actually Tennessee and right. the, also in Washington, D.C. But I think I just want to say I started out just by faith. I stepped out by faith and just said, this is time to do it. Okay. I waited on him to say it's time, Nadia, okay. and he gave me that, that answer. Okay. So jumped out there on your own. All right. On my own. Well, good, for, good for well, you. Well, they have a special yeah. event coming up, the Many All-Stars out of Nashville, Tennessee, that have been featured on Bring It, which is on what network? Lifetime. Oh, Lifetime. Lifetime. All right. They're coming to the city. They're coming to the city. It's going to be at Northside High School at the Fine Arts Building this coming Sunday afternoon, the 15th, from 3 until 5. That's it's on North Island. It's a free event. It's a free event. It's a free event. All right, so why are you bringing them here? Why, what are they doing here? You know what? I wanted to bring something outside of what, what we normally see. Our young people, and this is a quote that I go by, dancing allows one to express themselves. And so by doing that, I said, what way could I allow and teach our young people to express themselves much more? Okay. Dance. Yeah. And I said, you know what, what can, what can connect with the young people? They love the show, bring it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, and y'all, when I reached out to this young man, which is also a graduate of Lane College, I was just on Facebook just messing around. And I said, you know what, I'm going to send him something. And he responded right back to <laughs> okay. me. Okay. And so never hurts the, to ask, does it? Does it? It never hurts to ask. So that's why I want to tell our young people: when you want something, don't give up. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep okay. going. Well, that's right, so, wonderful. So, so, coming, so coming down here. So what will happen then with the mini all stars? Oh, the mini all stars. He said they're coming to paint the city. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, hey, not I, quite sure what that means. Not, but, hey, okay. come to paint come the on. city. But um, the the show is going to be wonderful. I have a variety of things that we're going to showcase. We're also going to do our own rendition of Swan Lake. Okay. So we're going to do our own uh, ballet on okay. that, and it's not going to be the entirety of the the, right. pre, okay. the piece, but it's going to be pieces of Swan Lake. Okay. All right. So it'll be so a, a different, a different interpretation. Oh, and of different interpretation. So what mm -hmm. do you sing with these children then? When you get, as, I hadn't thought about dance this self-expression. It has the potential yes, to be. Yes, it right. Well, I think it opens up for their creativity as it well. It does. And you Especially know, I've had a lot ones. of young students that have come in, and they were very shy. Now, they yeah. have opened up. Okay. And so it, it allows the children to become one, not with themselves, but with others. Okay. Right. What's, the, what's the youngest group that you teach? Two years old. Oh, okay. my goodness. Two years old. <laughs> okay. Good for you. Two all the way you up. You got a lot more okay. patience than me. <laughs> well, 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 I'm telling you your attitude. You're excited about this. Yeah. I'm very excited. Everyone asks me, are you nervous? No, I'm not nervous. They say, are you excited? Well, I guess I'm a little excited. But when I say, when I see the show go on and I say, let's hit it, mm-hmm. And that's okay. when the okay. action begins. You see the change in the, in the children. That's what makes one, it all worthwhile. One turn yes, it deserves sure another. Awesome. It, it's it's going to be at Northside High School this coming Sunday, the 15th, from 3 until 5. No admission charge for this. The special guest will be the many all-stars out of Nashville from the, from the show Bring It. And uh, so it's, it's good in the Laquan Dance Studio, and you find her on Facebook. Well, Facebook. It's very good to meet you. It is. Nice very to meet you, too. Yes. So excited and, and about the studio. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Yeah, absolutely. And, and we'll Westwood looking Gardens, forward to hearing we'll, more we'll from you. There. Yes, ma'am, y'all We're going to be right back with more <laughs> as we continue Six in the City. Jackson 24-7 continues this summer as your source for perspective on people, issues, and key decisions facing our community. Whether it's the economic challenges facing public education, the battle in the streets for local law enforcement, or a bold new leader for higher education. Jackson 24-7 brings you the key questions and answers every day at noon, 4, 6.30, and 9.30 on E-Plus TV6. The original pipes in Jackson's gas system were wood. Then the new industry standard became cast iron. In 2016, the Jackson Energy Authority celebrated the last mile, the complete and final replacement of the remaining cast iron pipes. Cast iron gave way to safer, more reliable materials that vary by pressure load and system need. There are some natural gas systems still using cast iron, but that's not the case at JEA today. In 1986, my life changed forever when I struck three buried high voltage cables while working on an excavation site. 30,000 volts of electricity blew through my body. I'm lucky to be alive and able to walk again. Today, accidents like mine can be avoided with a simple call to 811 in order to have your dig site marked. 
Always call 811 before digging and be a hero. Respect the flags. Brought to you by Tennessee 811. had a full show. We have. Whew. A lot of great things going on. Always a pleasure to meet people that are excited about what That's they right. do and, and, and are involved and in everything. And how great for her just yeah. open the studio and, yeah. and great things coming to them. Be sure to, to be sure to get out to that. <laughs> 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 she's a Not good woman. Not to break out in a cold sweat, but I would. Well, that's great. That's right. well, she's excited about that. And we got dog people and everything else, that's so it's it. been great to have everybody oh, here. Oh, and Murphy. Oh, sweet. And the seven ones of the world and all that. It's been a real, real pleasure. Don't forget this Friday, 13th. Relay it's for not life. not going to be unlucky. It's going to be great. It's Relay for Life. Wow. It's at the Farmer's Market. I think it starts at, ceremony five starts at 5 o'clock. Goes till 11 this year, so it's That's an abbreviated right. thing. Uh, JA will have a team there. Sure. And uh, and I think the Farmer's Market, I'm kind of excited about I, I'm this. I'm excited about it. It's, it's a lot more compact. Is the theme. Yeah, it's compact. more compact. The stage will be out yeah. towards towards the uh, the main office there, and, yeah. and the booths so will be out. So. so it'll be fun. So we want it everybody to come down. We talked about uh, next Thursday with all the downtown dog group and everything else. Uh, Taste of Jackson from the March of Dimes is coming up. Always a big event on, on that Thursday. We just have a I lot of things I also want to mention, too, the same night as the downtown dog trot is a um, another 5K. It's the Eric Wallen 5K. It's a okay. memorial 5K for a young man that was... Uh, that uh, I worked at oh, the right. Imaging Center. The imaging Center, mm -hmm. that's right. Mm -hmm. So we so got that coming up. You can go on races online, I, I believe, to, to we, register for that one. We as got well. a note in from Lifeline uh, Blood Services that uh -oh, they're Battle of the Badges. Again? Yeah, Battle of the Badges, where you, you're a blood donor in honor of Medical Center EMS, the Jackson Fire Department, Jackson Police Department, Mass County Fire Department, Mass County Sheriff's Department, Tennessee Highway Patrol, and Jackson Mass County Emergency Management Agency, and Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Now that's a bunch of Even, agencies. That's a bunch of, so take your pick, be a blood donor. <laughs> They're going to do that the 16th through the 27th. And Wildlife Resources Agency, you'll get to fish and hunt for a year without a license if you be a blood <laughs> What donor. was it, the fire department that won last year? Fire department year? won last year. And, so they and got so a they big, big got battle. Retain their, their standards. And we got a note from the uh, fire department, uh, uh, Chief Turner and everybody. They're going to do the uh, fireworks in on July 4th. Good here, so we got all that stuff coming up. So just also, stay tuned. Also, wanted to mention there is a Warrior Half Marathon, and it's in Gadsden, Tennessee. Okay. It's on May 21st. Like so. a stuck record. <laughs> Every 3K, 5K, 2 mile, That's whatever. That's right. I'm trying to keep you, get okay. you out there and get you running, get you healthy. We were glad, glad to have Dean Ross and John Sanders with us, the uh, Southern Fire Band. And guys, real pleasure. Thank you. Y'all just, just take it away. We'll close, close out the show. We'll see you next week. Bye.